everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Orange Zeppelin and I think it's been a hot minute since I've checked in. Feels like a while so I just wanted to do a real quick update and right now you are seeing something that I have never done on this channel before and that is a time lapse of a digital art piece which I can actually do very easily now. What I'm working on here is a submission for a zine being made by my art homie Beefus Von Griefus. And it started out as a traditional line art drawing, as with all my art, it always starts traditional. But I am coloring this in Ibis paint. I almost called it IBIS paint. I, I heard somebody pronounce it like that, and my brain went to IBS paint, and now that's what I want to call it IBS paint which despite the name, it's not a shitty program at all. It actually came preloaded on my new XP Pen Magic Drawing tablet, which I am loving. I am so happy to have a tablet stylus that is not held together with tape. I haven't quite figured out how to do the split screen thing where I can have this connecting to my laptop and uh, connect with Clip Studio Paint yet, but I will figure that out in the future at some point. In the meantime, I have found it's very easy to get footage of my art this way. And I'm hoping this is going to be super helpful for comet coloring, which is something that is on the horizon. I've got my comet commission well underway. I am starting to share sneak peeks of my inking process. I got the go ahead from my client that I can share some progress pics. I think I'm going to show a page. I'm going to upload some footage of a page being colored just like I'm doing now. In this time I've also done a pretty major studio overhaul which I'm going to show off before too long. I have my room almost 100% put back together. I have a few things that I want to hang, but I had some pretty dramatic layout changes, which I definitely, definitely think will be improving my workflow, my efficiency, things are organized better. So I will be sharing that before too long. And in other things, I do have more time in the week for getting projects done because I did make a pretty major decision in terms of balancing all of my obligations both at home and elsewhere. After six years of service, I am I have left my volunteer role at our local wildlife clinic and honestly, I am sad to leave. But between that, my part-time job doing art professionally, housework and studying, and all the stuff I do, I had to make a decision somewhere. I'm freaking tired, you guys. <laughs> but it was a really great opportunity, and I would definitely recommend that experience to anyone. I learned not just about animals, but I learned a lot of skills that I think made me just a good employee in general. It definitely made me more handy around the house. And I have put on my resume that I am very qualified to clean disgusting things. Believe me, I cleaned so much poop in those six years. I'm pretty sure I've cleaned more poop in one four-hour shift than some people have in their life, maybe. I've been bit by species of birds I didn't even know existed before then. I even got scabies there one time. I'm really not selling this experience <laughs> to anybody, but it really was a great opportunity. And I am sad that I've had to call an end to it, but I am glad to have more time in my schedule. Just that single day being opened up is very helpful to me. And I am leaving on a happy note and a very thankful note. I really want to get back into working out regularly, but for the time being, I need to focus a lot on my present comic commission. Which, like I said, I will be showing off a little bit more of that in the future. But in the meantime, I hope that you guys enjoy this little clip of me uh, struggling to figure out a digital art program. Definitely not my forte, but it is always fun to play around with, and I think I will get a lot of use out of that this tablet. So until next time, thank you for watching and keep making art.